Hello everybody, welcome back once again to the Final Fantasy XIII walkthrough. Uh, we are... Uh, where are we here? Let's forget if this is... I think this is the Sub Subadran Highlands or something like that? I don't know. Anyways, we just took care of... Uh, or I did a bunch of uh, Batuitous farming. And uh, I believe... And we'll see once I get into this first battle, but... I believe all of my characters will have uh, um, sprint shoes now, so let's just see here. Yeah. <coughs> uh, Hope actually has a tetratic. What is it a tet tetratic uh, crown as well, or is it? A no, it's a tiara. Sorry. Uh, the tiara is the one that gives uh, auto tetra defense, which is I don't know. It's okay. Uh, to be honest, though, uh, I don't really use that a whole lot, and. Really, probably from this point on, I won't, I won't be using it a whole lot. Again, and that's... <clears throat> sorry, excuse me. I mentioned it in the last video. Here you can see the, the buffs are already wearing off, so... That's the real problem that I see with it, is just... Those buffs don't last long enough to uh, to really merit a, a spot. So, you know, again, if, if you like them, or if you expect that you're going to be fighted, fighting a bunch of battles that are going to last... You know, maybe like 13 seconds, or... 13? How, how did I arrive on 13? <laughs> I think I was going to say about 30, 30 seconds or less. Then, uh, you know, you might get some use out of those, but, uh, you know, really anything longer than that, I just don't really feel like it's worth it. So, again, I guess uh, take that as you wish, but that's that's kind of how, uh, how I figure it's going to boil down. Um, <clears throat> and I'm not sure if I'm going to use this team of three uh, long. I really don't know. Uh, I, I, I vaguely remember... Uh, you know, not, not using these three much in this playthrough. And I kind of wanted to try that, you know, kind of to see how it, how it would go. But, you know, I'm surprised, I'm surprised to see the, them back, you know, in my, in my party. But, you know what, it, uh, that's all right. There's a good reason for that. Again, they, uh, th th this, this three, I feel like, makes a pretty good team. Uh, number one, you know, Hope with, uh, Hope with, <clears throat> with his good heals and, um, his defensive buffs with the, you know, the synergist roll. Uh, very, very good. Very good. Uh, you you kind of get a lot of bang for your buck out of, out of hope. You know, again, two, two really, really key rolls, I'd say. Um, Fang is a really good debuffer as well as, uh, as Commando, you know, so that kind of that takes care of two more uh, rolls. Uh, and then, you know, to a, to a smaller extent, I guess, or Sentinel. But I, I, to be honest, I just don't really use that... Uh, uh, that that roll very much uh, and then lightning obviously uh, really good ravager and uh, that's that's where I will be using her or that's what I will be using her for for most of the time you know she's an okay medic um, to be honest really not that great but she can she can kind of come in uh, handy in certain situations uh, a really good one is like combat clinic where you know fang is a sentinel and Lightning and Hope are both medics. She can kind of do some of the healing and, you know, Asuna if if you've got a bunch of uh, debuffs built up on your character. So, you know, again, she she does come in handy here and there, but uh, for the most part, I'll be using her in the, in the Ravager role. I'm not sure why I decided to run all the way back here. I could have teleported uh, using that that last uh, teleport um, Seeth Stone back there. So, again... I'm not really sure why I ran. This was uh, really kind of a waste of time, but um, again, you know, I don't, I don't know why. I must have, for, I don't know if I forgot to uh, to at least give it a shot, but um, you know, I'm pretty sure I, <clears throat> I'm pretty sure I collected all the treasure spheres on the way too. So it wasn't like I was expecting to, uh, you know, cover some some ground that I hadn't before. So again, you know, not really sure why. Ooh, is there a? There must be, be a cutscene. That's why. Hell. Don't overdo it. I won't. I know my limits, unlike some people. Oh, oh. now who's the tough guy? <laughs> What was that? A Grand Pulse Falci. Used to see it flying around all the time. 
And they said it had a home. Somewhere near Erba. So that's good news, right? If we stay on its tail, we should end up in your village. Let's follow it. Right. All right, so there's your answer. That's why I ran back. I wanted to see that cutscene, so there you have it. There's the answer to the, the million dollar question. <laughs> All right. Let's keep making our way back here, though. And what do we have here? A bunch of hybrid, or a hybrid flora and some triffids, I believe these guys are again. I don't know, I really shouldn't have picked uh, the flora first. The triffids would have been a better first target, but uh, obviously with them doing the debuffs, I'm, I usually tend to try to get those down first. Uh, now, as far as what my characters are equipped with here, <coughs> excuse me, uh, Lightning's got uh, definitely ATB uh, recharge rate of 10% at the least. It, she might even be at 15%. Uh, because of her items. Now, uh, she's, so she's got the, uh, I think it's the Axis Blade that's upgraded all the way, the Sprint Shoes, so that will synthesize the, you know, ATB plus 10%. But then I think she's got an Aurora Scarf as well, <clears throat> and um, that'll bring her up to 15%, as well as, you know, she'll have, she'll have uh, all five of her ATB segments charged at the beginning of the battle. Um, so there's so there's that and then on top of that I think I've got uh, two items like uh, an energy sash and then I don't know what the last item is Ooh, No, or am I? No, that might be two items or too many items. Yeah, I think that's too many So maybe she's got um, maybe she does only have the 10% ATB recharge and then uh, I Might have two items that are giving the the uh, random instant chain uh, But I'm not 100% sure on that that uh, you know whether or not that th that's actually the case or not because she does really only have uh, three accessory spots right now but um i don't know random instant chain is okay um to be honest though i think you get a lot more use out of something like a blessed talisman uh you know that's going to give auto faith so i would you know i would kind of forego that uh for the time being there just isn't a whole lot of enemies that you know i feel like you can make really good use of that um of that synthesized ability again it is really good but, um, you know, it's, it's for, for one thing, it's random. And then uh, for two, I mean, to really, really make good advantage of it, <clears throat> you're going to need to be fighting enemies that have a really, really high uh, stagger uh, point. So, you know, and I, don't, I don't know. Again, we're just going to be fighting a lot of stuff that, are, that, that just that isn't the case. You know, you're going to be fighting a lot of stuff that's, you know, in the 150% or, or less, uh, you know, oftentimes. So... I uh, don't really feel like that's a good, you know, synthesized ability to have yet. Now, uh, unfortunately, here I'm gonna I'm gonna teleport all the way back just so you guys can see uh, where we can teleport to at this point. But um, this is gonna take us all the way back to where uh, Batuitus is at, and uh, that's actually kind of nice too because <clears throat> if you're not able to, um, you know, spend or uh, if you're not able to take him down uh, at this point. Uh, the good thing is, you know, later on, once uh, once we actually have unlocked some more of these teleport points, you'll be able to, like, level, and then, um, you know, you can just teleport right back here. And uh, and then, you know, hopefully you could take him on then. And again, I, I really feel like he's worth, you know, farming. It's He's one of the really rare enemies that has got a, a really nice uh, couple of drops. And, um, you know, like I said, the, er the earlier you can get to that, like, auto haste, the better, those uh, sprint shoes. So um, that's that's my uh, that's my farming recommendation anyway. If I haven't already, you know, brought that up enough, <laughs> it's just so good, and I really like those items. I really do. Uh, but anyways, all right. So we're back here at uh, <laughs> I guess where we started, and uh, we need to kind of make our way back to the base camp, and uh, which means you know obviously running down this path again. And I really don't like this this path. I don't know why. No particular reason, I guess. I guess maybe just there's a lot of enemies, and some of them are pretty tough to avoid. 
That's probably it. I guess that would be probably why I don't really like it much. Um, I think we do have to take care of another mark here as well in this uh, this area. So we'll we'll definitely do that. If I remember right, it's pretty easy too. I don't remember what the reward is though. So <clears throat> hopefully it's something good. Uh, and this one, this next mark actually may end up being a teleport location as well. So we'll see here once it, uh, once we get it taken care of here. But. Uh, anyways, all right, so we got here a couple of Alrons, Alrons, something like that. Nothing we haven't fought enough already. <laughs> and they haven't gotten any more difficult. All right. Um, so, <clears throat> as far as equipment goes right now, if Hope's Hope's definitely got the um, oh, what is it? It's the buff. It's the defense maintenance uh, weapon. So uh, that one's okay. To be honest, I don't know how much use of it or how much use I really get out of it. And I think that's what he's got anyway. I could be wrong actually. It's been a while since I've uh, since I've taken this footage for sure. Um, but anyways, it's either that or it's the weapon that's got the siphon, um, no, uh, siphon boost. And I don't think that's actually available yet. It's probably not. I'm not sure, though. Again, I kind of forget. Um, but anyways, so, and then he's got a, he's definitely got spring shoes and a blessed talisman. I'm not sure if he's got his third accessory slot or not. And then, uh, I really don't know what I decided to go with, uh, for his last one. But, um, uh, Fang, on the other hand, definitely has her... I think it's called the Pandoran Spear. That's the one that's going to uh, give her the, what is it, the debuff. Oh, uh, now I have to look again. Because I don't remember what her her um, ability is actually called here. So let's see. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. I saw it? No. Improved, <laughs> improved debilitation. Um, and actually, it's probably the Calamity Spear. Now, I bet, I, I'm sure I've upgraded it. Um, and, uh, so the re reason being, you know, um, for her anyway, and especially at this point in the game, she, that, that spear is actually fairly decent. Um, it's definitely more like, uh, magic oriented, but, um, you know, with, with having that brave, uh, buff on her, uh, which, by the way, that's the morale talisman. Um, which is giving her auto brave. Um, that's just kind of a, you know, I've mentioned it a few times. It's kind of a cheap, uh, cheap way to uh, that wasn't so bad. Uh, get better battle ratings without, um, you know, having to necessarily uh, beef up your your uh, your primary stats. And you know, the good thing with that is then, you know, if you buff up your primary stats, well, that means that you uh, lose target time. So it's kind of like, uh, mm, I don't know, I don't know how to describe it. It's kind of like. Uh, a double-edged sword, I suppose. <laughs> um, so, you know, yeah, you're getting more stats, but it nerfs your uh, your timing down as well. So you kind of have, like, a less of a margin of error, I would say. Whereas, you know, the Brave buff is just going to... It's not going to change your target time at all, but it's going to give you a, a really good boost. So, uh, and haste goes... Uh, goes uh, sorry, that, that, can, that reasoning can be applied to the haste buff as well. Um, but anyways, all right, so what else? Uh, again, I'm actually not really sure what Fang has got for her third accessory. I'm sure it's, you know, um, sprint shoes and a morale talisman and then, you know, I don't know, maybe something like a speed sash or, I don't know, something like that. It's hard to say. Again, I don't really remember. But, uh, all right, so I can see, yeah, I see the Sea of Stone right now, and we're actually going to take care of that right now. And uh, like I said earlier, I'm pretty sure this one ends up being a, a teleport location as well so again you know these are these are really the ones that you want to focus on making sure you get right away and this guy is actually really easy too so um, you know that's that's not uh, actually I, I would say that most of the the teleport locations are extremely easy marks I can't really think of one off the top of my head that's you know really difficult and uh, I, you know, I think they actually meant to do that. I think 
you know, being that they wanted a, a convenient way to teleport around um, Pulse or Grand Pulse, you know, they kind of made the teleport locations a little easier for you. But uh, anyways, all right, let's head back up. And being that we've already kind of cleared out some of these enemies, it's kind of nice too. So obviously we had a we had a fight right there. Now we can just run past that. But I don't know how. Yeah, it's probably. That's probably it for fights that we've already cleared. I'm sure we'll probably have to fight everything from here on out. Yep, I'm not going to be able to sneak by these, unfortunately. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, so yeah, so that's, that's kind of where I'm at as far as equipment now. Um, to be honest, I really wish I wouldn't have used these three because uh, I feel like th that was, you know, the, the team that I've used before. So, you know, I'm not really sure why I decided to go with these three or not. I don't, I don't know. I guess uh, at some point I, I kind of did feel like Lightning was... I mean, because she was ended up doing most of my healing for, Just another battle. Uh, you know, the party of... Uh, sorry, um, Lightning, uh, Snow, and Saz. You know, she's really the only one that's got a decent and developed medic role. So that kind of defaults her to being the, the medic, which I don't feel is very efficient. She just, again, she's not <laughs> she's not very good at it right now. So, um, or I should maybe say that, um, you know, there's just better. Hope, Hope and uh, Vinny will just tower over her as far as, you know, medics. She's, uh, she's literally, ah, I shouldn't say literally the worst. Uh, there is. <laughs> Uh, uh, and, and any of the other three, Snow, um, Saz, and uh, Fang, actually do technically make worse uh, medics for the time being. But, <clears throat> but anyways, um, so I think maybe that's kind of why I decided to go with this team for the time being. I get, you know, they, there's, there's, Fang is definitely the best medic in the game. Or sorry, medic, <laughs> uh, commando in the game. Um, you know, you can argue that uh, s Snow and Lightning do a good job, but I, I do feel like uh, Fang is the best. Um, and then on top of that, so, you know, she, there's there's your good commando, and then Lightning's got everybody beat, as far as I'm concerned, as, uh, as the Ravager right now. And, um, you know, Van like I said, Vanilla and Hope make really good healers. Now, of those two, I still would say that Hope is the better one because of his uh, Synergist role. You know, so he's going to be able to buff you defensively, and then uh, when you do take the damage, uh, he's going to be able to heal it up really, really well. Uh, now, all right, so this is the mark right here. Obviously, take down the flan or flan first. Um, you know, nothing fancy with these guys. We've already fought a billion of these. Uh, the Rakshasa in the back is just going to whip. <laughs> you know, I don't know what he's, what he's whipping at us. Yeah. He just, it looks like he just keeps attacking over and over and over. <laughs> Um, I thought that it was going to do a a dance here, you know, like a debuffing style dance like this enemy type does, but I'm not sure if he's the, he's more of a physical one. Oh, there it is. So, um, you know, I'm not sure, oh, that was just a buff though. Huh, okay, so he's not debuffing us, he's buffing himself. So yeah, so this guy's actually a little odd when it comes to these... I think these are considered daemons. Oh, there's some debuffs though. Ooh, gross. Um, so, I'm, I'm almost wondering if it wouldn't be a better idea to take uh, him down first. He's got a, uh, I don't know, that's a pretty high, uh, somewhat high <laughs> stagger point at 185%, but yeah, I don't know, that's a tough choice. Um, you know, obviously those debuffs are pretty nasty. So, uh, your choice, I guess, if, uh, if it doesn't work out well, you know, going with the flan first, maybe try try taking him down first. Anyways, all right, so we got a five star. That's not bad. Some some crummy um, rewards there. But then a collector catalog. All right, so there you go. So there's your first uh, collector catalog. If you if you haven't already bought them now, I did. I bought, I bought a bunch, or I bought two of them and upgraded one into the connoisseur's catalog, which... Um, you know, again, that's going to increase the drop rate of your rare items. Uh, the regular collector's catalog, however, is going to just increase the uh, rate that you obtain, excuse me, regular items. 
So, uh, again, now I've already bought two, and uh, to be honest, that was... Uh, I, I don't really think I got that much use out of them, to be all, to be honest. Um, you know, and I've I've brought that up a couple of times already. Usually, when I'm when I'm worried about getting drops, it's in a certain certain spot. Although, no, I take that back. Okay, so I did I did get quite a bit of use out of them. Yeah, so I'm I'm actually uh, you know now that I think about it, I did um, just because I, I farmed uh, Batuitus, you know, for quite some time there and got you know I made sure that I got. Uh, you know, a bunch of those, what was it, tetratic crowns or tetratic tiaras. Um, so, you know, again, I, I actually did. Now that I know that I think about it, I did get a lot of use out of that. So, but um, they are expensive. So, you know, it's um, it's not going to be for everybody. Buying buy a, buying two of them right when they're available, you know, may not be, may not fit into your budget. <laughs> but uh, anyway, so there, you, know, you get the first one for free. Um, and I, I, gosh, if I remember right, there's one more uh, later on. I don't remember uh, if it's a if it's another Mark mission. I, d I just don't remember. It's been, you know, it's been a while. And <laughs> being that I bought uh, the the two right away, I was just like, eh, whatever. That's just another one. So, anyways, let's continue back here. Um, now, to be honest, I, I almost wonder if it would have been faster to, instead of backtracking, uh, moving on into the next, the next area and then teleporting back here. That may have actually been faster. I don't know, but um, I, just, uh, I just ran it. I guess it's not, uh, it's not the longest run in the world and, you know, the enemies aren't particularly difficult, even though they are quite annoying. But... Uh, all right, so we're just going to run back to the Arkhild step here, and uh, I think I'm just going to end up saving at the uh, at the first save spot, and then, you know, we'll kind of just continue on from there. So I'm just going to cut the commentary here. Uh, so, uh, you know, hopefully this guide was helpful, though, and I uh, hope, you, hope you guys keep joining me for more. All right, thanks for watching.